Breaking. Ricky opens up on regretting dumping article for Tenobu during 2023 election. Now to the news in full. Yes, some wicked the FCT minister has made it clear that he has no regrets about working against the People's Democratic Party PDP in the 2023 presidential election. Speaking on channels television politics today, Ricky defended his decision, stating that it was driven by his commitment to justice and fairness. Really, are you really driven by justice and fairness? If you are driven by justice and fairness, you will not be frustrating Timinala Ifibara in River State. Ricky emphasized that his actions were not anti-party, but rather he stand for what he believes in. You stand for what you believe in by being an anti-party to your own party, supporting APC instead of your own party, really. For presidential election, I said, I am going to support equity, fairness and justice. Are you sure you supported equity, fairness and justice or because this person said that if you support him, he's going to make you the minister of Abuja and now you've gotten what you wanted, you're saying you, you supported because of equity, fairness and justice. Are you sure you supported for equity, fairness and justice or because of your own selfish interest, because of your own personal gains which you are enjoying right now? Being a minister in Abuja by supporting, you are saying you, 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 you are not an anti-party. He explained, he also highlighted the distinction between his actions in the presidential election and his support for the PDP in governor and national assembly election. It is worth noting that Wiki's stance was part of a larger movement within the PDP, alongside four other governors, Samuel Otom Benue, Sheyima Kende Oyo, Okeze Ikwazo Abia, and Ifai Ugwanyi Enugu. Wiki demanded that Senator Iocha Ayu step down as PDP national chairman as a condition for supporting Atiku's presidential bid. Can you imagine that? He demanded demanded that somebody should step down because he supported Atiku presidential bid. Meanwhile, you, you supported Tinobu as a PDP member and nobody has told you to step down. Nobody. This man this man is, is a confused human being, I swear. However, Atiku Abubakar ultimately lost the presidential election to Bola Tinobu. Honda Wu's government, Wiki now serves as FCT minister. This development has sparked interesting dynamics within the political landscape, with some, like Governor Semina Life Barra, urging Wiki to let go of his influence in River State. Yes, let's go. You are already enjoying the benefits of supporting Tinobu by being the minister of FCT. So enjoy your ministerial work now. Enjoy, enjoy being the FCT minister. Uh, and leave the, the, the running of, of, of the governorship of, of, of River State to Simina Life Barra. Let him run it the way he wants. Good luck, Kubinuku, in the comment section says, Then you think that the APC trusts you, be? Don't worry, they will soon dump you. Exactly, if you can betray your own party for another party, they will not trust you. You can't be a betrayer and you think people will trust you. They know that very soon, someday, you might actually betray them too. It's just like a husband leaving his wife, beating his wife for somebody else. He is going to beat you too someday because how would you think that he, he beats his wife to get married to you and then you think that you will not collect some beating too and that he will not marry somebody else. You think he is going to love you. No, it's not possible. It's just the same thing. APC will not trust him forever. They, they, they are doubting him as it even stands. They won't trust him. They will soon dump him because he betrayed his own party to join them. So he can also betray APC one way or the other. Maybe if they do something that he doesn't like or he asks for something and they say no, they are not going to do this for him. And then it changes. It's, it's, it's bound to happen at any point in time. Henry Omadio says, regrets, all interest should stay. This FCT politician has a track record of betrayal. He is better left alone. Let him feel the pain of ad abandonment for a season to learn his lessons. Of course, he's still going to learn his lesson and he's going to learn it the hard way. When the time comes that he is going, they are going to leave him behind and then he has no power in River State again, then he's going to lose on both sides. He's going to learn his lesson. 
PK cannot deceive anybody. The UK I know is outrightly against equity, fairness and justice, yes. All his actions and inactions demonstrate his heartlessness to his party and that is just the truth. He does not believe in any equity, fairness and justice. If he does, he will not be doing what he is doing now. All these are behind his reasons. What happened during PDP primary election made YK to change his mind. It was YK who was winning in the primary, so Tambua saw that Atiku was losing. Then he stepped down for Atiku and added his supporters. Besides, Tambua was YK's friend. This irritated YK, so he decided to work against PDP. Since then, nobody has seen or, or heard YK and Tabua relating as before again. YK had come out to contest for president, not to be a vice. Yeah, all this long talk. Esau, look at the heading and look at the first sentence of the first paragraph. <coughs> that YK is going to regret it in the future. Also, Newman says, and who cares if you have any regrets or not? But your political double standard have already provided you regretting if not you will mind serving your master in law and let him be. Ayo says for hunger, suffering, stealing him, you are a disgrace to humanity. Christian Akanaga says, okay, just like you don't regret dumping a sickle, the same way sinful Bara have dumped you and has no regrets. Exactly, that's the same thing. Fubara is not having any regrets. As as that man, he does not have any regrets. He's ready to face Wiki head on. Anything he brings, bring it to Woto. I'll give it to you back. That is just it. Kenne says, I wish I am Fubara. I will show you the power of a governor. Well, that one is just being a good person because this person helped you and he doesn't want to be ungrateful. But not that he will now make me turn into a fool and want to be controlling me. So he doesn't want any issues. Fubara wants peace. Fubara wants to reconcile, but Wiki is just being strong headed. Samo Imachi said, Our leader does not see human beings as anything. That is why political hoodlums can just open fire on people without thinking twice. It is well. God Almighty is closely watching everything going on in the leadership of our great nation. And I hope and pray that one day God actually intervenes in the issue of this country because it is only God that can save us from these our wicked politicians that we have in this country. My listeners, over to you. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Do not forget to like, to share, and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for listening. See you some other time.